All right, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset Era. Woohoo! We. All right. And as you've seen in the title, we'll bring him back. Epica. This was a suggestion from one of our Patreons. He goes by the name of, I think, Umbrella Solvent is his name. That's right. We have a Patreon. We have a Patreon. Make sure if you guys do want to have a sponsored or a prioritized suggestions, you can hit us up there once you subscribe. There should be a link to the Patreon in the description. They'll be in the description. Yeah. And I generally will put something up on the screen. So you guys will see that in the, uh, at the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, today we're taking out the song Essence of Silence. The yes. official live video. Exactly. Uh, this one has 884,000 views in eight it, years. Yep. Um, and what else? I was just musing. It would have been funny if it was 888,000 in eight years. <laughs> a, lot a lot of, of eights. eights. Yes. All the eights. Okay. Uh, this this video was recorded and edited by this dude on Panda Productions crew. Mix and mastered by Just van der Broek. Okay. Van der Broek? Van der Broek? If that's a mispronunciation, you, uh, Sorry. Mr. Just, I, I apologize. Yes. We are going to enjoy your work, sir. Yes. Uh, let's check out some comments here. Mark is the one of the most underrated songwriters in metal right now. That was some seven years ago. Mark's vocals have improved so much since they first started. He sounds absolutely incredible now. This is from eight years ago. Yeah. Mark. Simone is not a human. She is a goddess avatar from a higher spiritual dimension. Epica is the most creative band sounding, best sound, creative best sounding band slash act in modern time. Musicality beyond. And yes, I'm 56 years old with 35 years in the music business. Not many acts has affected me this profound. Very nice. Simone Simmons, such a divine voice and presence in the metal scene. Indeed. Indeed. Indeed would be. This, sound, this song sounds spectacular live, in my opinion. Nice. That riff, that, that drum. drum. at 306, it absolutely kills. Their drummer is really good. Yeah. I love their drummer. The best riff Mark has ever come up with. Nice. I'll have to check that yeah, out. A lot of, uh, I'm so proud to be Dutch. I'm also <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> Many great musicians and vocalists in the metal scene are Dutch. Simone Simmons, Floor Janssen, mm -hmm. Arjen Lukassen, uh, Annek van uh, Giersbergen, Sharon Denadel, and so much more. So fantastic. Don't forget Eddie and Alex Van Halen. <laughs> no one's going to say that. They fit in that category. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know. <laughs> they're dutch uh but those all those names they're, except like a couple of dutch. those names did not uh ring a bell so if any of those uh, you know, well, Simone suggest, Simmons, Flor I Janssen. Know Janssen, and i know arjun but the rest i really don't so and neck van <clears throat> uh Giersbergen. yep so if these are groups that you guys would like to see reactions on just let us know who the, the associated uh group is also links are very important so send us some links if you guys want to check out on the sharon then adele sounds familiar i think we did we might have it's, um, it's just we've done we do so many videos and <laughs> i think we just passed 400 videos so yeah you know if if my memory doesn't serve me well this time i apologize yeah more stuff give us more all right, well, I think we can jump into this one. I think so. For anyone jumping in with us for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome indeed. This will not be our first time with Epica, so you guys want to check out more of reactions that we've done with them, go to our YouTube channel, click on Playlist, look for Epica Reaction Playlist. But if you're not new to the channel... You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for... The glorious... Epic... Transition! Transition. <laughs> I'm going to do a double click, double click, double click. All right. Let's shoot it on back. All right. Without further ado, we got the Epica. essence of the silence. Ess yep. The essence of silence. Epica. Official live video. Here we go. Thank you so much. Very I'm Celtic sounding, kind of already. Last show of the tour in beautiful Brussels. How are y'all doing? Last day of the tour. Whoa. <laughs> I said that too. This is not silent, guys. What 
the long hair guitar player has a very interesting looking guitar. I really want to get a good look at it. I think it's a Fernandez. I don't know. No, it's Ibanez, I think. That's definitely not even Wow. What a stark difference. I love the riff. Yeah, I see what you guys are talking about. That was a cool riff. Yeah. is so good and the tone is really good too yeah the double bass with that yeah yeah they're both having us cool it's over already yeah
sort for Epica. I know. I'm used to like I'm used to seeing their song or seeing their videos like twice that length. All right. So that was really con that was really you know quick and concise as oh, far yeah. as Epica goes, oh, as yeah. far as at least in terms of what we've uh, reacted to. Exactly. Uh, Epica, the essence of silence, the official yep. live video. I thought that was really great. That was amazing. His screaming or growling or whatever you guys call that is awesome. Very powerful. And then the riff, man, the riff, the, the riffs. ending breakdown was super good, where the guitar is by itself. And then that double bass came in. The riff yeah. was super good. Oh, Simone was fantastic. Uh, you know, every once in a while, like Epica, when I think about Epica, I think about symphonic metal. Yeah. But what I don't think about is all the riffs they do. Yeah, there's there's a real epica is kind of set apart from like you know you know epica's got like that extreme metal aspect you know yes. with the with the harsh vocals you know right. the you know the the heavy the heavy arrangements you know the lower tuning or the the different the different like i think there's like seven string guitars that they use or, mm -hmm. or i think they're just tuned down i don't think yeah. there's seven strings but you could tell well, like, i saw well, i saw that i saw that the bass had of had five oh, strings yeah, so, he does he definitely yeah. has a bass, five string you bass. know so either way you know the you know the the music's heavier the arrangements are there mm -hmm. you know so there is like a, a kinship to like death metal right. you know black metal you know the extreme side of it you know in conjunction with you know simone's operatic uh right you know presence yeah you know i love them though yeah. I, I do love the riffs like they always get me I'm like dang this riff i didn't expect this riff or i didn't expect this feel or this drop and then the drummer's really great as well of course, we can say everything you want about Simone. We know she's got a great voice. Yeah. Effortlessly hitting those high notes that I, none of us will ever hope to hit in a million years. Uh, but not yeah. Unless somebody, real, not unless someone comes up and grab and then grabs our balls really, really tight in a vice grip, and we just. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you guys know what to do. If you like Epica, you want to see do more reactions to Epica, you have to comment and let us know. Links are always preferred, especially when it comes to live, because there are very specific things you guys like to see. So make sure you specifically give us the suggestion. Uh, so yeah, check those out. Let us know. But in the meantime, we are Offset, Offset Era. Era. We are two thirds of Offset Era, three piece punk core act of Sony Southwest Florida. We have an extensive playlist of all of our original music. If you're curious as to what I mean by punk core, as well as a top shelf villain, a six song EP, brand new by our standards. <laughs> yeah, the, I love the new album. Um, I am very, you guys yeah. gotta go check it out. If you haven't checked it out yet, go listen to it. Uh, I still go back to it and listen to it on my breaks at work and stuff. I think it came out very good. We're very proud of it. Uh, yes. Um, and we're just starting to hit a strive. We're gonna start recording more as the weeks and months go by. Yeah, so. Vince was actually joking last time. He was like, yeah, now that we're getting good at playing the new stuff, now it's time to start writing new, new stuff. Well, that's how it goes. <laughs> that's kind of how it is because I, I came over to do these and he was showing me a, de a demo of how we do it is, you know, we jam out a bunch of stuff and, you know, he'll take the stuff that he remembers and, you know, arrange them. Arrange it, arrange put them, them out into... more parts together, come up with different things that are inspired by the other parts. And then uh, I think lyrically, we're going to just use some various concepts that the band's been throwing around. Kind of fun little collaboration the way we work and uh, yeah, I'm, seems I'm, to work. It's out very, well. it's very open. You know, it's, you know, it's not just, you know, one chef just dishing out orders. Right. All right. We also have some shows coming. We have one show coming up. Yep. Well, one show currently on the horizon. Friday, right. April 26th, we're going to be at Ali's Pub Records in Beer yep. with Mommy's Little Monsters, Psycho Fluid, Black Clash, and Social Infants. Yep. It's uh, night one of the two-night Ollie's blowout finale. I'm, I'm sad to see Ali, you know, Ali's looking to go. Yeah, it's very sad to see it go. Uh, we're, we've played there so, so, so many times. I think, we were, I, I think sometimes it got to the point where we were doing it like once a week. Yeah. There'd be times where Sometimes we did, twice in one week. At least a couple of times a month for sure. At least yeah. once a month, if not twice a month. Uh, so it's going to leave a big hole. Um, we're hoping that there's a couple other venues that are going to be around the area that are going to start doing shows. I've heard Kava is going to. There's a place called Beach Records, which we played with uh, a couple weeks ago. We did the Opera House, so there yeah, are places around Yeah, the third Opera here. House in Arcadia. All right, but if you're interested in following the band, go ahead and check us out on Facebook. We're also on Instagram, along with posting uh, updates here on YouTube. So stay tuned here. You know, you'll get all of the updates. Oh, we have a Patreon. If That's right. If you do want to support us, you can do that through Patreon. Uh, there has been some comments of thinking that you know, adjusting our monthly amount. So I might consider doing that. I'm not really looking at 
Patreon is a way to make money necessarily, but it it's is not right now. I do want people to be able to see some of the unblocked or yes. uncensored videos that we. A lot of these get blocked. A lot of them have to create heavy editing and obscuring. sometimes in one region, sometimes in numerous regions. Yeah, so it gets a little. It looks a little troublesome. So if you guys like to watch uh, videos without any kind of obscured logos or anything, that's the place to do it. It also supports us, um, and I don't expect you guys to subscribe forever. If you just want to subscribe for a day or you know, or a month or a day or a minute, uh, I don't no no harm, no foul. We appreciate everything you guys do for us. So uh, just keep your suggestions coming. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Let us know what you want to see in the next one. And we'll see you then. We'll see you there. Peace out.